Hello New Zealand, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you very much for joining us for our weekend weather update and the outlook for next week. And we've got highs and lows, windy weather and calm weather across the weekend and next week as well. We're kicking off with the Friday animated wind map and you can see the windy southwester that's blowing in around New Zealand. Now this is uh, normally a cold wind and there are a few regions on Friday that are below average and a couple places on Saturday will be, but most places on Saturday, especially in the North Island, inland and eastern areas, they'll be warmer than average for this time of the year. And that's because this windy southwester will be blowing across the North Island, drying out as it does so. But when you track the origins of where this wind is coming from, you can see it's not coming from down towards Antarctica, it's coming out of the Australian interior from that desert area. So straight down and around and up and across New Zealand, that's why Saturday will still be warmer than average in some areas despite the fact it's a southwest flow. So this is Saturday's setup. The dark blue line is where it is cold. So it might still be colder than average for some of you around coastal areas of Southland, Otago and Canterbury on Saturday, but the North Island's on the other side. And so the winds will, as the day goes on, turn a little more westerly for some of you over here, and that should lift temperatures up just a little bit. It's not gonna be a super warm day, but it may not be as cold as you might think based on this setup. There's a little bit of snow activity still in the mountains, not a huge amount, and the showers up here, the light blue means they are getting lighter and uh, not gonna be accumulating to very much. Now you see all the wind around and the high coming in, so that's Saturday, look at Sunday, what a difference. The high pushes in, the winds start to ease, the wet weather moves well away, and so does the cold weather that is moving out to the east over the Chathams. But over New Zealand itself, over the mainland, um, you've got the westerly wind flow coming through and it's mild in a number of areas because of that. And again, it's coming out of Australia. So that's why it's not going to be too, too cold. And I have to say, after a bit of a bleak week in Southland, this will be a nice warmer change for you, even if it's only by a few degrees. So let's get into next week. There is a lot going on with field days at Mystery Creek and the setup looks fantastic. High pressures in charge, light winds still coming out of Aussie, so it'll still be mild in a number of areas. Although I have to say, the light winds caused by this high means the nights and first thing in the morning, they will be a bit cold. But uh, we're not really seeing the same amount of frost that we would expect at this time of the year. A number of people are writing to us saying, where are the frosts? And we're not getting them at the moment because our wind flows are too mild. They're coming out of Australia a lot of the time. And so these winds are warm as we see on Tuesday. So the rain comes back to the west coast with heavy falls blustery northwesterly winds, mostly dry up around Waikato and mostly calm as well. And our final map for Wednesday looks a little bit downhill. We've got low pressure down in the South Island, a surge of rain and snow again around the West Coast and the Southern Alps. But in the North Island, a weakening cold front may bring in a few showers for opening day at Mystery Creek. And there might be a couple of showers after that as well. But actually overall, it doesn't look too bad. High pressure is coming back in again behind this little blip of showery weather. Okay, that is all from me. Enjoy your weekend. Stay safe. See you on Monday.